It's a great day, sports world. What's up to all the sports lovers, haters, addicts, and fanatics out there? This is Larry Patterson for GT365. That's Game Time 365 Sports right here on the GTSN. It's the Game Time Sports Network. And we're finishing things off in the NFC North with the Chicago Bears. Um, this team, one of the worst in the league offensively. Defensively, they weren't really, you know, that good. But that's basically where their strength was. Um, but to start on the offensive side of the ball, um, Allen Robinson was supposed to be that guy last year. That didn't happen. I think he got hurt somewhere along the way, and um, things just did not work out for him. However, Darnell Mooney, he rushed, uh, not rushed, but he, he received for over a 1,000 yards uh, for the first time in his young career. That was his second year last year. Uh, received over a thousand yards and four touchdowns, so that's a bright spot. Um, but you bring in receivers like uh, Equinemius St. Brown, uh, Byron Pringle, uh, Dante Pettis. You drafted Avilas Jones, who's like 25 years old, who's a, like a special teamer, but um, you know he can be used as an offensive player. Uh, we'll we'll see how that goes. One bright spot um, on this offense, I do think, is going to be is the run game. I uh, forgot what they were ranked last year, but uh, with David Montgomery and Khalil Herbert, that could be a nice little little uh, dynamic duo right there. I wrote a column about them a couple months ago e expressing uh, how I think these two are going to mesh well together. Um, a Tristan Ebner, the draft pick they got out of uh, Baylor, I think he is going to be something you can use him in the pass game. And he's a good rusher as well. On the defensive side of the ball, you got the uh, secondary and Jaquan Brisker, Kyler Gordon, you're pairing him up with uh, Jalen Johnson. And um, I, and I think that secondary is going to be pretty, pretty good. I think the whole defense is going to be pretty good. Still got to find some kind of solution for Roquan Smith. He's not happy. Got to sign the guy. Um, and that the pass rush, Leonard Floyd, uh what did he have, like 18 sacks last year? I don't know if it was a career high, but the guy was definitely getting after the quarterback. Uh, you get Khalil Mack out of there, and you have a guy that's up and coming, Treston Gibson. They drafted him in the 2020 draft. He didn't get a lot of burn in his rookie year, but his second year he had seven and a half sacks. So 2022 can definitely be a make or break year. For the guy, I really see the ceiling up for this for this this defense anyway, and it could be the strength of this team.